All right, so we're talking about different kinds of weeds, and this is a new planting. This is very common that we've got some ground cover here, and we've got this oxalis clovery noise here that's trying to grow in amongst our plant. Your shadow is kind of blocking. Over it. Here, you come over here. All right, so we what we want to do is you do not want to spray in these situations. You can back out just a little. You, you want to... Um, these are, these are hand removal, but if you do it the first season before the seeds, and we'll talk about the seeds in a minute, you won't have to do it again, okay? That's, the timing is ultra critical here because if I get rid of this to the root, and by the way, this is moist right now. We got rain recently. If you don't have moist soil, don't do this. You'll snap off at the root and they'll just come right back. You wasted a lot of time. So. Get the soil nice and moist before you go through and do a lot of weeding and it'll save you a ton of time but also more importantly it'll be more effective. So if you feel at the bottom of a root like uh, a weed like this, right where the, the, the branches start there's a little node there. You need to make sure you put your fingers below the node before you start pulling and I kind of shake a little and see I got the root. Okay? and. Just put where those start branching, that's the node. If you snap it off above the node, it just grows right back. If you get it below the node, most roots will not come back. Okay, so that doesn't seem like a big detail, but again, there's no point in doing it if you're going to snap it off above the node. Yeah. Okay, so that's oxalis. Again, these will, um, these will bloom and get a little yellow flower. The whole strategy with weeds, let's pan over here so if you want to come a little closer. See, this is a little grass weed, and these are the seeds. Come in really tight if you would, please. These are the seed heads, and once they drop, you've got dozens or hundreds here. If you look right here, these seeds are all about to start dropping. So our strategy is, is get in there before the seed drops. And if you do that, you've knocked out the cycle. But if those drop, you get dozens or hundreds of the next generation and you're starting all over. By the way, here's another really common weed. These get a little reddish pink flower on them. And uh, man, they're, they're just really bad. But these come out easily, again, if it's moist. See that little root there? So now this one, I'm not worried if I throw this over here. There's no seeds to drop. It's fine. But one of the things I was saying here is my strategy is I come in, I put my hands around the seed heads so that they're not falling into the soil. I go down and I find the node and I pull that guy out of there. I still got, I got two or three in here. And I got it. And see the seeds. Now you want to put these in a bucket or something where the seeds cannot drop back into your soil or blow around. Okay? That's my strategy with weeds. Get those seeds because they're the next generation. Oh, look, get really close. Oh, yeah, I can see. Look them. at those yeah, seeds. See, you can't even see them. They're exactly. so small, but there's hundreds of them. Get your hands away from the soil. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we, we get them over here, but we'd have a bucket or something where there's no potential for them to go back because, again, they're going to do that damage. So, let's look at a couple of others. This is a really common one here. And by the way, these babies came with your plants. I've never seen these just blow in. They come in with plants from the nursery. Really? It's very annoying, but wow. it's, it's it life. Happened, yeah. So, these get tons of uh, seeds, but see the flower? Mm -hmm. So that's like your alert signal is if this thing has a flower, you, you're already kind of behind. You know, again, I just get them in there in my hand as much as I can, and I go down and I find the node. And these come out really easily. There's yeah, two of them there. Right. See how I kind of shake a little? It just yeah. help, helps it let go of the soil. Right. I'm done. I got that one. But because it's moist, this is quite easy. You know, a lot of these, by the way, are they're growing in the mulch. The mulch that we put here as a buffer. So they really come out easily. So again, if it's moist and you get in here early enough, this is a pretty easy job. It's just tedious. Mm -hmm. Most important thing is be surgical and grab... Go through first and um, go through first and get all the ones with flower heads on them first. And because a day later they can be throwing hundreds of seeds down. 
Then once you've got all the ones that are uh, at that stage, then you come back and pull the ones that are younger that aren't about to drop all those flowers on you or seeds on you. Okay, got it. All right, Good. cool. All right, so one of the things I want to show is how I weed. Um, well, for, for instance, this plant, this weed has a lot of thorns on it, so I'm using a glove, but one of the things I do a lot of the times is if, if the root is deeper, which a lot of times if it's a bigger plant, it totally has a root. That's how these things survive. I take a screwdriver, and the same way I was shaking earlier to let the root, get the root to let go, well, I'm just going to loosen the soil around this thing and then shake it, and that little bit breaking off is fine. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I loosened all the soil so that this part of the root would let go before I pulled. I see. Because these guys have really, and you'll almost never get all of this. Yeah. So that's the way to do that. Let's just look at another. Uh, this one over here usually has a pretty deep root too. So same kind of thing. I just get in there and I get my hand around the plant head and then I just go in here and loosen the soil and then it comes up. Got it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So these guys use these as the soil loosener if you have any depth of root at all. And you just judge that by how big's the top. Mm. The bigger the top, the deeper the root. Got it. Okay? So those little ones we were doing earlier, they're so superficial, you don't need to do this, especially if the soil's moist. Mm -hmm. But the minute you see these big boys, you better grab your screwdriver because the way they survive is they tap down really fast. Mm -hmm. So then it's just, that's really important though, to get below that node as far as possible. And if you can do that, you're usually good on it not coming back. Awesome. Okay? Good.